hope there is sound now. I hope there is sound now. Okay. Good morning to everyone. It's uh, Monday morning, 9th of January. It's the beginning of the year. Um, I want to make a Bitcoin video again because uh, we pumped a little bit and let me start from the weekly as usual uh, okay so we see that uh, we had this um, bullish divergence on the momentum but the money flow was uh, decreasing and going down and i wasn't sure uh, whether we uh, whether this is the bottom of the money flow and money flow will start going up and with that the momentum or will go down so it seems that uh, there might be a few more weeks of upside uh, seeing this not even a few there might be more weeks and this might be the bottom of course there might be uh, there is a possibility to have a um, one leg further down to 12k or 13k but this is also possible that this is the bottom and everyone is expecting uh, 12k <laughs> or 13k and this might not happen so it's it's wise idea to accumulate at this uh, price levels and whatever you can accumulate this might be the bottom so okay let's see the um, so the weekly as i said um the hurricane ash is turning green so uh, we will have uh, resistance at 18.4 uh, and 20 something, 22 or 23k. We will see what happens there. But um, the weekly looks good, uh, to be honest, looks bullish. Uh, the daily, the daily also looks bullish because we uh, we had this money fall increasing, as you can see, from 45 then again another wave uh, divergence which is bullish divergence and another bullish divergence and another bullish divergence so from higher perspective uh, daily looks bullish we're just going green in the money for uh, going in uh, in the green area uh, crossing the zero line which is very important for the daily and uh, well, the momentum is a little bit um, exhausted, I would say, right now. We might get a rejection, uh, like one or two more candles, even today we might get a rejection and go down a little bit more. We'll see, we'll see definitely, but um, this money for works bullish, so even if we, we might, uh, you know, uh, start to consolidate, so not fall so much but start to consolidate something like that and then we go up so i think this is the most likely scenario seeing this money fall uh, i don't think there would be another drop of the money fall and the price substantially let's see the four hours the four hour money fall is as you can see is coming in there is money coming in in the four in, in in the four hour uh, we should have rejected here but actually we broke out we broke out from this um, 17k and now we, we have uh, broken this resistance and i would i would assume that we will have uh, even more upside here because we are breaking the four hour is uh, you know money coming in this is very very bullish sign oops sorry very bullish sign guys and girls so if you have longs hold on to the longs if you don't have longs um sniff for a long <laughs> that's what i can say we might get a rejection uh, soon but uh, this might uh, this rejection might just test 17k and just hover above 17k so I don't think we're going to dump uh, very hard here. Now on the one hour, uh, yeah, we have money fall, but it's not uh, too too high, too huge. Um, we'll see what happens. 
we might print another of those uh, maybe Bart Simpson's pattern um, if we dump hard but I don't think that's likely I think it's more likely to go up than uh, dump right now this is the one hour yes momentum is a little bit high uh, we have a red uh, dot so we will fall down a little bit but I, I guess uh, we will not um, break the 17k if we break ab again the 17k then that's bearish but yeah watch out for this level and I will be watching also for the 17k because I it's a little bit late uh, for wonks right now uh, late wonks can uh, get liquidated yeah it's a little bit late for the for the wonks uh, 30 minutes, yes, we have some money fall. Um, so I, I think we're just going to chop around and s just consolidate above 17k. So that that's very key level, I would say. 17 to 71. Even if we start pumping from here, it would be very bullish sign. okay yeah we, we have some divergences on the 15 minute it looks a little bit exhausted on the 15 minutes but um, yeah we might just consolidate and start a new wave um, after a few days okay let's see the ishimoku cloud ichimoku cloud one hour is bullish uh, we're above the cloud uh, actually the cloud supported us on the one hour we're definitely above the cloud. Uh, the six hour looks a little bit <laughs> too much, I would say, because we have some kind of resistance here at 17.3 uh, on the previous tank and sem. Um, so, yeah, we might have some small rejection here, but overall it looks very healthy. Um, even the 6 hour is uh, very healthy let's see the 12 hour uh, Ichimoku cloud so the 12 hour uh, resistance is at 17.3 it is probable that uh, we break this tank and sen at 17.3 so if we break this tank and sen and break this breakthrough this resistance at 17.3 uh next stop is 18.5 18.4 18.5 um, yes i think we are headed there on the daily um yeah then once we reach that level we have to look for rejection or uh, the price action the, the reaction of the price action let's let's first see if we can break the 17.3k uh, because if we do that it would be very bullish sign and hell this might be really the bottom uh, okay let's vote this indie and this one also uh, i want to see the volume delta here um, usually the volume delta was bullish uh, this is the 4 hour yeah 4 hour clear support look the, consoli the consolidation of this one so it's from 9th of November wow that's amazing I mean it seems to me that uh, Wow, this is a lot of consolidation. It's nowhere near this uh, fall. The volume delta is also looking bullish. I mean, it, it's not, uh, there is no bearish divergence right now. It's not uh, falling further from here. It is slightly increasing, which is, uh, which seems to me that uh, some wells are accumulating at this price. 
uh, this is what it means and it means that the price level uh, it means that the price will not dump uh, below this uh, 15.6 uh, support I guess we are not dumping below that there are some whales already accumulating with this volume delta this is what it's showing let me see what my uh, other Google Trends um, of the Bitcoin price search term is showing. Um, yes, we are we are consolidating here. So uh, this was the June um, low at 17.6. Then we had a pump o on this Bitcoin price search term, and price uh, fell to the 15.6 to the current wall and we are at 18 again so last time we were 17 or 18 uh, we started actually going down on the price so if we start going up on the price and the search term is going up that would be very interesting this would mark the the bottom because wa wa last time we uh, we were going down and now if we go up on the price versus the um, interest over time uh, it will show uh, divergence at actually bottom of the sentiment uh, so that's really interesting I have been waiting for so many months about that and monitoring of course every now and then and uh, it's really interesting either we are going to dump or you know you're seeing what the price is doing we are breaking up uh, whether whether there, there would be a hard rejection uh, after a few days um, we have to watch out for this as you can see we, we hit this on November 10 we hit the 15.6 um, wall in Bitcoin price and here we hit 100 and we're consolidating from there um, and I think the consolidation is almost over it's almost over and we will start Printing a new huge volatility wave to the either to the upside or to the downside. So volatility wave will return very soon, I would say, very soon. And yeah, I think that's it from from my side. Uh, here on this indicator, we we have some divergence, there some bearish divergence, and we might fall a little bit, as I said, to 17.1 or 17k. Hover above that. If we keep this level, it it would be good idea to long. But we'll see. Have a have a good um, rest of the week. Uh, I'm not sure when. I when will be my next video I'll see based on availability have a great one bye bye